Hello guys and welcome to a new Still Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you Vohati vs Tash in round 2 of the first North American tournament. So I've casted all of the round 1 games that were available and since I'm not casting the lower bracket we're moving on to round 2 today. Um, this is Comment Le Avant and on the Allied side we're going to be seeing the 7th Armoured under command of Vohati and on the Axis side we have the 2nd Panzer. So what I deem to be two very high tier divisions, I think the second Panzer is very strong, it has one star pack 40s in phase A, it also has Panzer 4s in phase A and two of them, again that one star veterancy, and those things can definitely dominate the battlefield early on. But on the side of the 7th Armoured you do of course have those uh, two star Stuarts, um, the recon variants, and those can certainly do a lot of damage due to their accuracy and firepower that they can put out. Now they aren't so good against enemy armoured vehicles, so if a Panzer IV does come their way then they will struggle. However against light armoured vehicles and enemy infantry, the Stuart Recons are actually really, really good. So it looks like Vohati is going to be bringing in two of them on this top side, alongside a command, maybe to make them three star if he keeps it nearby. There's also going to be a Desert Rats heading up to that top side. On the bottom we have two Desert Rats with a Stuart Rimi, which again has command, and that's going to be trying to take control of this forest area. Now the Stuart Rimi will be able to kind of cover the mid or even the bottom side if it needs to due to that 50 cal being really, really useful. Now on the side of Tash, I really want to see a Panzer IV because up against the 7th Armoured, you're often up against those Stuart Recons and also the Staghounds early on. It's something that is very common when you play against the 7th Armoured. So a Panzer IV that absolutely trumps those units would be ideal early on, but currently I cannot see one. Tash instead relying on a Panzer Shrek for the top side, 250-10 there. There's going to be a Pack 40 coming in with the 251. There's going to be some Sturm Pioneers following those up. On this bottom side, it's going to be a BAO Panzer II C, which is an off map Panzer II with another unit of um, Sturm Pioneers and the Panzer Shrek. I'm a little bit confused about this start. It's awfully expensive for not very much. You've got, of course, this setup, which is a 20 point half track with 105.8 AT gun. Then you've got the BO Panzer II C which is 110 points and Vohati's quite simply seen all of the units with this recon Mosquito at the start of the game. Very very interesting to see this Mosquito recon actually used since it is 95 points and honestly I don't think this is worth it but for Vohati apparently it is. He's going to be going in hard with the Stuart 5s and he's got the Stuart Remy to follow up with him as well to take out enemy infantry. But Vohati has found himself the plus one early on. Um, off map is going to be coming down onto this tree area. Um, those desert rats, are they going to run into that? No, they're not. They're actually staying away from it. So possibly if this mosquito saw exactly what unit this is, then he knows what's coming and will certainly try to avoid it. Even if he sees it's just a Panzer II, the only Panzer II available on the second Panzer is the artillery one. So Vohati being a good player probably knows that and therefore has done well to avoid that off map strike. Um, it's also spotting the two fifty tens that gives away that there is Panzer Shreks when you're playing against the second Panzer. So another sort of thing to, to look out for. Uh, Panzer Shrek on the bottom side was dropped off and then the 25010 zoomed to the top side. It looks like what Tarsh wants to do here is use his 25010s with the two star veterancy to kind of counteract the push here from these Stuart 5s. This pack 40 is in an interesting position. He's just marked it after spotting it with the recon. But the Stuart 5s are going to be coming around the corner here. Tash does have this Panzer Shrek in a really nice location. And if he can pop one of these Stuart recons early on, he might put himself in a very good position. We do see that the Panzer 4 is going to be coming in. And that is the perfect counter to these Stuarts. Just because at maximum range, the Stuarts cannot penetrate the Panzer 4. Or at least not easily. You'd have to get very lucky. Um, 251 in the meantime is just pushing through and gaining ground. That's going to be a plus one on the board. Spitfire Mark 9 going to be trying to 
take care of that. Never mind, going to be pushing for the pack 40. Um, was kind of relying on the Mosquito there to provide recon. So until that comes over again, it's not going to have a bombing target. And well, this Mosquito, although it's a recon aircraft, it does fly very quickly, and that is not always a good thing. But in comes the bombs, hopefully, for Vohati. Nope, they're not going to drop yet. And meanwhile, Tash is making a lot of ground elsewhere. He's pushing through with his half tracks, and that's a plus two on the board at the moment. So Tash certainly has Vohati where he wants him. However, this Desert Rat is going to find the Pandashrek, and that is not good news for the Pandashrek squad because now they are no longer going to be able to ambush. Uh, these Stuart 5 Reckies, so great job by Vohati to just take control of that uh, forest area and get rid of any threat like that. Um, the internal fragments and kill there onto the 250-10 is not great for Tarsh, but he still has his Panzer IV to rely on, and I'd like to see a second one coming in. The Gepard here, the two-star Gepard with the two-star flak uh, 20 mil is a really good choice, I like it a lot will definitely stop the effectiveness of this Spitfire, but the Stuart 5's come in with a huge kill here. The Panzer IV misses its shot against the Stuart 5s. The Stuart 5s do not miss at that range, and they certainly had the penetration at that range, and it did the job. That is a huge mistake for Tarsh. He wants to engage at 1,000 meter range, and he does not. And in this case, he certainly paid for it. He's going to have to bring in another Panzer IV now, and uh, he's got a lot of work to do with it, because... Previously, he was relying on the 250-10s, and there being a lot of them, or at least a couple of them with a high veterancy, plus the Panzerschreck. But now the Panzerschreck's gone, the 250-10's gone, the Panzer IV's gone, and these Stuart Fives are in a dangerous position now. However, ground's still being made elsewhere. Um, however, there is another Stuart Five coming in that may be able to clean up some of these half-tracks. Really does depend. Tarsh is still counting up the points. Stern Pioneers, they are looking for a fight in this forest, but don't really want to engage the Stuart Remy. That could be quite bad. So the uh, BEO Pans 2C is going to be coming over. It's going to be dropping some off-map onto these Desert Rats, and that's a really nice uh, push there, potentially. On this top side, you could certainly keep this surrounded by another Pack 40 or even just another Panzer IV. It's just got to make sure that he engages at longer range because at close range the Stuart Fives will win every time. So here we go, Panzer II going to be uh, looking for the shot but the smoke comes down from the motorized rifle leader, really really good job there just to keep that Stuart Remy safe, no point in losing any units unnecessarily if you can help it and in this case that's what uh, Vohati is trying to avoid. 251 going to be engaging the Desert Rats there this is a very interesting game because obviously you can see that in general uh, Tarsh has a lot of ground but uh, this position that Vohati has on the top side is incredibly dangerous especially if Tarsh messes it up with his other Panzer IV. This pack 40 will likely be pinned down by the Spitfire bombing run and uh, with the off map coming in it has sort of forced back some of these desert rats allowing the Sturm Pioneers to possibly cross this road but uh, Tarsh is going to have to be careful, get some smoke down to cover off against the 50 cow, otherwise he's going to be in trouble for sure. That's going to take a lot of damage. Uh, one of the half tracks there was taken out. The Panzer II though going to be able to return the favour hopefully. Oh, with the bombing strike coming in onto the pack 40, that is going to allow the Stuart 5 to move forwards. It has shots onto the Gepard as well. And that Gepard is likely going to die. It's going to remain in range for a pretty damn long time and yeah, it's gone. So at close range, the Panzerstreck take out the Stuart, and that's going to allow the Stern Pioneers to continue their push. However, at this range, uh, two versus one, the Desert Rats might have a good time against the Stern Pioneers. They are going to get some smoke down, which is nice. Wants to get the flamethrowers on target. Um, the BEO Panzer II C has taken out that half track, but uh, with all of these units on the top side here being overrun, with the half track going down, the 250-10 going down as well. This Panzer IV has a lot of work to do, and there's a potential here for all of these forces of Tarsh to get completely cut off. So that's something we're going to have to watch out for, but the Stern Pioneers, they did uh, kill off one of the Desert Rats. Uh, they're going to be looking for the kill onto the next one once they come out the other side of the smoke. They might be able to get the job done. 
It's a very precarious position though. They took a lot of damage with that engagement. The Motorized Rifle Leader are going to be moving back to try and finish the job. If they can, then that would be fantastic. If they can't, they're going to take some flamethrowers in the face. And the Stern Pioneers, can they do it? It looks like Tarsh's forces have been cut off. The Stern Pioneers go down whilst the Desert Rats and Motorized Rifles survive. The Stuart 5 is killing off the Panzer II. And all of a sudden, this position that Vohati has, or did have, has certainly paid off. It's uh, suddenly sprung to 63% territory lead in favour of Vohati. He kind of just hid his forces here, took the engagements that he wanted, and just very, very smart play from Vohati. Great conservation of his units. Unfortunately lost this Stuart down here, but yeah, killing off that Sturm Pioneer makes all the difference. This half track's now cut off, and this is 68%, but it's soon to be even more. These Stuart 5s are just so difficult to deal with, and the initial Panzer 4H going down made it so much harder. Because imagine if there was two Panzer 4s on the field right now. They would have a much better time at engaging these Stuart 5s in the open without the threat of being bombed by the Spitfire Mark 9. Because at the moment, if Tarsh decides to try and make a push, well, it's probably just going to get bombed, and then that's that. The Flak 38 there, that's going to be bombed out actually by the Spitfire Mark 9. Unfortunately, 20mm Flaks don't really do too much to aircraft. They can if there's like the Gepard and the Flak 38 in the same place. But as you can see, the Flak 38 just can be pinned down, opens up more airstrikes in the future. Half track's been killed off. Actually, no, it's still alive down here, it's just been surrounded. Uh, M5 half track, is that going to get taken out by the Panzer Trek? Oh, the Motorrad Rifle is just unloaded in time. Panzer Trek should go down at that uh, range um, since the Motorrad Rifles do have um, their 8 HE on target and they, of course, have more men, so that should be fine. Um, however, um, Stuart 5 is now taking an engagement with the Panzer 4 there. We've got another Stuart 5 taking a shot as well. Panzer, oh, Stuart 5's everywhere. It's going to be really, really irritating for this Panzer 4 to deal with. Uh, it's getting shot from both sides. Potential side shots are a thing. And if this Panzer IV goes down, then uh, it's going to get even more um, difficult for Tarsh. However, moving into Phase B, we do get 150 points per minute for Tarsh. And that's just come about. So another Panzer IV on the way. Can it save the day? We'll have to wait and see. Engine does get destroyed, though. On this Panzer IV, it's showing side armor, potentially gets weapon jammed. This Stuart 5 is also going to be firing at it as well. This is not good for the Panzer 4. Generally at max range you would win that engagement but since it was taking shots from either side it just couldn't keep its armor facing and it's gone down and now it's just another single Panzer 4 on its own. This half track trying to make some ground but charging towards a Stuart 5 Sturm Pioneer trying to take on the infantry in the forest and almost worked before so why not try it again but can't help but feel that Vohati's managed to get reinforcements up to this line and honestly as long as that remains being the case uh, the territory is going to continue to fall in Vohati's favour. Panzerstreck there it does manage to take a shot at the Stuart 5 one of the Stuart 5s is going to go down so the Panzerstreck does a fantastic job and there is going to be a Jagd Panzer coming in but uh, if Vohati just plays smart with these Stuarts, he can just hide behind this tree line. And, and you can see, like, these trees here, all in this sort of row. This is really, really irritating to push out of. So Tarsh is in a really, really bad spot because you think the 150 points per minute allows him to make a comeback, but pushing past these tree lines is, like, considerably harder than if it was, say, in the open because then his units would probably win at range. Um, while Vahati trying to make that as hard as possible by bringing in the Achilles. I think this will also be um, a, well, that's actually a six pounder. It could have been potentially a, a 17 pounder, although I'm not entirely sure that the 7th Armoured get those in phase B. But anyway, uh, Panzer IV is going to be uh, looking for engagement here, taking on those motorized rifles. There's no recon actually. Uh, for Tarsh saying that the Focke Wolf 190 the recon variant does come out and I tell you what these are really really cool looking vehicles and they have a re they have probably the best paint job out of all of the Focke Wolfs in the game incredibly fast aircraft 
but just don't really have much firepower. Um, I really don't like these Fogger Wolves, you know, that's 2 HE. Um, so bringing them in as fighters is not the best idea. Either way, um, at this point, Tarsh is just stuck in a bad spot, and I don't really see it changing anytime soon. So that Mosquito is going to be forced back eventually by the Flak 38, but uh, that's likely to come under fire by the Stuart 5 now, if it manages to get line of sight. Saying that though, the Flak 38 just nicely behind these trees. But yeah, any advancement that's attempted to be made right now is just failing and, well, Ramch died. I'm not entirely sure where. He definitely went down. 250-10 there, that's getting shots onto the Stuart 5. Vohati missed microing that for sure. That should be on an attack move, but Vohati there had it on the fast move. So 250-10, going to get the kill when it probably shouldn't have. And another kill on the top side. Jagdpanzer goes down. That is just nasty. I think that was a 6-pounder there taking the side shot. Maybe even the Stuart 5. It looks like it got bombed and was forced back and then got killed off that way. Um, here's the corpse of Ramsch. Yeah, not good. This has just gone from bad to worse. If you manage to keep, you know, a few Panzer fours alive, maybe you can make a breakthrough. But the fact that Vohati has had time to now bring up AT guns to reinforce this position, again, it just makes the whole thing a billion times harder. And such a clinical game here from Vohati, it really is. And Tarsh is going to surrender. So 14 minutes and 16 seconds it took Vohati to wipe out Tarsh. And 1,265 kills to 410 losses certainly tells the story. It really came down to just Vohati's positioning. He wasn't too concerned that half-tracks were pushing him since he knew he had um, light, fast units that could mop up those half-tracks that were basically taking ground elsewhere. So... Knew what he needed to do, and keeping those Stuart 5s at close range engagements is absolutely perfect. And by doing so, he found kills that he probably shouldn't have. For example, onto the Panzer 4H at like the 500 meter range initially. And this Jagdpanzer gets a side shot, I think, after it got bombed. Um, and then the Stuart 5 here also killed another Panzer 4. Took out the Pac 40 after that got bombed as well. And uh, just not enough, like, oomph from the start from Tarsh. It really felt like the majority of his units were a little lackluster for like the price he paid. If he'd brought out two Panzer fours at the start, he probably would have been laughing against what Vuati decided to bring. And in general, I would say that a double Panzer four start is not necessarily a bad idea against the 7th Armoured because they often rely on those Stuart Recons and also um, the Staghounds and stuff. In this case, we didn't see any Staghounds, we just saw the Stuart Fives, but still, the point stands. Uh, at the end of the day, um, superb play from Vuhati, it really, really was. And that's just about all I have to say. So, congratulations to Vuhati, is going to be moving on to the next round, which is uh, subsequently the semi-final. So, Vuhati already making it there, Tarsh going to be knocked down to the lower bracket, so that's the last we're going to see of him. But that's all for now guys, hopefully you've enjoyed it, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.